pretty iconic photo in the local punk scene in my city. It's me at a show with the singer of Government Warning, a legendary punk band from Richmond, Virginia. They, they've traveled all over the world doing shows. He's wearing a war crime t-shirt. War crime is a band from the same era out of uh, the Bay Area. And uh, yeah, that's how we used to get down back in the days. I was 16, 17. I was always in front. I was always happy to represent Government Warning because they were our hometown band. Whenever they had a show on, and they were on a bill with a bunch of bands from other states, I'm in the front. You know, with slam dance and, and yeah, I was fully engaged into punk rock at that time. My whole perception of life had been influenced by punk rock. You know, just the whole um, not being subs not being subservient to the mainstream, not being subservient to what the corporations and what mainstream society expects of you. That's what pretty much got me into punk rock. The whole vintage aesthetic of collecting vinyl and, you know, the whole idea that your outfit doesn't matter. Your appearance doesn't matter. Your material materialism doesn't matter. What matters is what's inside. But that was idealistic. You know, eventually, as I got into the scene and became friends with people, I realized that people in the punk scene were just as hypocritical as people in any other scene or any other uh, subculture or any other phase of society. You know, they're people. I didn't like the fact that these guys had these anti-establishment viewpoints but all of these guys lived in the suburbs, and they were all pretty much privileged and fortunate. And I kind of looked at it like, okay, so you become a punk rocker, and then eventually, you know, when you mature, when you turn 25, you're out. And it was just a phase that you went through. All of this hardcore ideology, all of this hardcore philosophy, you want to change the world and... uh you know, you, you, you're so into this thing, but then you turn 25 and you get a job at your dad's uh, company. Or, you know, or your dad transfers a trust account into your name. Now you're, now you're a mature adult. And I just kind of looked at it like, hey, this isn't real. This is like temporary, you know. I mean, I had fun. It was cool. I loved, I loved uh, seeing the different bands, you know. I remember this band from Sweden came called The Vicious. I didn't get a chance to see them. I left right before they played. That's my biggest regret. But, you know, the punk scene, man. So you had, it's different scenes even in the punk scene. That's something that I hated, too. I was a part of the hardcore punk scene. And you had the other punk scene with the guys that were Mohawks. And pins and safety pins and stuff like that. We didn't like them. We thought that they were costume punks. We thought that we were the real deal because we weren't into fashion. We didn't like the guys who liked hardcore. The other hardcore, the metal influence, we thought that they stole that from us because traditionally hardcore is punk. It's three chord punk rock music. Then these guys who liked metal started calling what they do hardcore and they wore like, uh, you know, army fatigue shorts with Air Max and stuff like that. They were like jocks and we thought that they stole our identity, you know what I mean? So it was always a clash between the different groups, you know? The hardcore punk kids, we felt like we were we were elites, elitists. We thought that we were the pure punks and everybody else was this garbage, you know? And, you know, we had we were really, really arrogant. We thought that if it wasn't what we liked or it sucked, you know? So, you know, punk, I came into it because I thought that it was for open-minded people. It was for people who had a different view on life. And then when I got into it, I realized that it was just as, uh, it was just as conforming. Conf it, was, it was like just as conforming as any other thing in society. It's punk rock, but once you get into it, you conform to their rules and their ideology. So you came there because you wanted to run away from conforming. But then when you get in it, you realize that you have conformed so that conflict is what bothered me and I left and I stopped going to shows and I just stopped dealing with the people but it was a cool experience you know punk rock it was cool it was a cool thing to go to a show that was only three dollars you know I mean it was really for the kids as they say the kids the people who the audience the fans you know they really made it easy for us every time a big band came into town five dollars to see them <laughs> you know so that's the part that I loved entertainment for cheap and it was cool you know peace